Hello, this is Jake, and today we are unboxing this Mercedes-Benz Arox 33364 Classic Space. I put an extra three in there by accident. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've bought this one. Now, before you think it's going to be a Mercedes, it's not. I've actually bought it purely for the chassis. Um, so what I've done is I, I gave you an update on the Volvo F816 and saying that I'm going to change the chassis and that turn to a tractor unit and that's what I'm doing with this kit so I already sold the cabin that to a friend so that's all gone and the wheel arches so I'm going to be left with the chassis it's all in here this is a brand new box um, but you know this is going to be built up for the uh, Volvo cab to go on it and everything um, so it should be a really nice project um, I'm actually looking forward to building it I always am when I build one of these kits so let's get out it should be easier than the um, Volvo it is, there you go um, the reason I went for this because I could have went with a Scania or the Merc and this one was the cheapest at the time, so it made sense to go with this Mercedes instead of having a Scania or something. Um, wow, look at all the parts in there. Right, where do we get started? That's not usually on the top of that, so I'm not too sure why. Um, but yeah, that's for the gearbox. So we have bumper and what looks like the arches to go underneath the cab um, I believe that is for the um, sound kit uh, interior pieces there you go the seats and that the seats look good are they the same as no they are different to the Volvo F816 seats that's the arches to go on the side of the cab you got your cab steps, mirror pieces, side bits, your um, vents, the roof of the cab, and your grill, and that. Um, one day I will build one of these cabs. Uh, that is the plan. Not yet, but I am going to look at doing one. But we're focusing on the Volvo at the moment. Uh, windows, which is great. Maybe I should have went and do it first. There we go. So in this one, that's taped up. Have I got a? I should have a knife because I have to get it with the big pots. Um, is this? Uh, I can't remember if this is our metal pieces, or well, this might just be other parts. Here we go. And as I. Box open. The dog comes in. Um, right, we have lights, of course, for the gearbox, the gears, um, our fifth wheel pieces, and there as well. Cab support, this is where you put your radio stuff on inside the cab, and the seats fit to this as well. Rear lights, um, tanks to go on the side, mud flaps, uh, more tanks, fifth wheel piece here, cab support, chassis bars, uh, bits for the chassis I mean, uh, more gear pieces for the gearbox, we have our transparent lights, Light shades or whatever you want to call them. Um, ah, so we have gearbox pieces and your axle parts. Again, very useful piece. This is supporting the rear wheels in the chassis. Now this is another fifth wheel lot, but this is usually for the... Um, Oh, what do you call it? The MFU unit. And then we have more cab pieces. So you've got your your lights, 
uh, your light guard, sorry, the vent to go on the roof, the air conditioning, the air conditioning part to go the back of the cab. Yeah, I will have to go through the manual and sort these bits out centre. Yeah, buy it. There we go. So that's that. Let me put that away. Right, let's move on. Um, I did just get the actual chassis bars out of the box just so I could put stuff back in. Um, so there they are. Um, these are for six wheeled unit. As you would have seen on the box art. And there's our manual. And photo etched pieces again. Like the um, Volvo. So that's nice. Um, I'll keep them. And hopefully be able to fit them to the Volvo somewhere. Right. We have rear parts for the um, shocks and the rear wheels and that. More chassis parts in there. Um, rear lights, mirror pieces, the cab mirrors, wipers, basically don't need none of that. Uh, oh, wheels. So we have the wheels. They look like standard Scania wheels. Um, so yeah, wheels. Uh, battery case. Rear chassis part, um, shock pieces there, the front piece. We have a cab, very nice. Nice cab. Um, if I was to do one of these, I'm really looking at doing it in a really bright green. Um, rear arches. Yeah, I, I would go for a nice bright green for this one. Uh, let's put that all back in. Flip the box around so I can get to the other side. Right, so this is our metal box. Unfortunately, it's not full of metal music, but it's full of metal parts. Rattling around. The first thing you notice is the tyres. Let's have a look at these tyres. There we go, some nice fresh tyres. Um, but they're really thick. Thick tyres too. They seem wider than normal ones. Right. Differential pieces. we got our bearings in there. Um, chassis parts. Front axle. For steering. Gearbox pieces. An extended lead for the battery. Now again, that came with the Volvo, but you did need it with the Volvo, but you was like that much out. So yeah, I don't know how far. That should fit anyway. You shouldn't need that. It all depends where you put your um, ESC. Chassis parts again. So this is for the rear axles. Um, and this is for the front shocks. we got in uh, oh that's for the cab so the cab can fit to the chassis so your cab folds forward like that um, we have our little tours some Loctite and some grease for the gears and then some double sided sticky tape uh, what we got in here more bearings screws I don't know if you can see those long screws there. They're for the mud guards to hold the mud guards to the chassis. And then we have our motor, which I was hoping would be um, like the Volvo, but no, it's a different. It's just a standard Tamiya motor. Um, so that's a shame because that means I'm going to have to buy a poison one. But never mind. Um, I'll go and swap that in the model shop. And yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's put all that back here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'll get this Volvo built, and then this could be my next truck. This could be what I do next. Um, 
seconds off the I've had this purely for the chassis. Oh, there's nothing in that, so that's it, okay. I was thinking that might just be um, So there we have it, basically. That is everything in this box. So, yeah, let's see if I can move it some of that way flatter. There we go. Um, so there's the chassis bars. I'm not too sure when I'll start this. Um, just because i got to get some of my dioramas sorted. Um, and the bench is full of dioramas at the moment. So I couldn't really build this done now. And I can't build it up yet because the table's gone. Um, so, yeah. I'll probably hold on to it for a bit. Then get around to building the chassis. But overall, looks like a really, really nice kit. Um, I bought this one from Wonderland Models. It's currently on offer for £329. So what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description to their shop so you can check it out. I thought it was a really good price because I was looking around and um, they were not... One I looked at was 370 I think. Um, there was one for 360 but no, this this the cheapest one I could find from a um, you know a shop, a well-known shop. Um, I don't usually just buy from random places I've never even heard of. Um, so yeah, but no, this is gonna be a nice uh, chassis because I'm not having a cap. <laughs> but it, it kind of makes me want to uh, do the cap. I've seen all those pieces, but hey, oh, we'll wait until next time. Um, I will one day make one of these units. I, I want the tipper, yeah, to be honest, um, but never mind. No. Right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is the... Let me put that back. There you go, you can see it now. The Mercedes Arox 3363 6x4 Classic Space. Um, on the front, absolute realism, free speed transmission. That's great to see. Um, is that? Gear, yeah, the gear ratios and that. So no, I'll give you an update on this truck when I've you know got the chassis done and that, and we'll look at the Volvo cab on it. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Please like, please subscribe, and there'll be more like this on the channel more unboxings so thank you for watching and bye for now